this up, I'm Jerry. That's you, kid. You're years down the road. Oh, oh shit! Oh my god, that's crazy! A feature length film called The Air on the String, written and directed by me and produced right here in Windsor. The movie's about a guy who has a sort of boring job, boring relationship, and he's in his mid to late 30s. Life has sort of become a little bit dull. He runs into an old friend on the street one day who gives him a card for a detective who gets past selves back. Like This has sort of a little twist to it, which I thought maybe might give me like a little bit of an edge to stand out because my first movie and it's going to be really difficult to like get it seen by anywhere or by anyone. But Noah Davis stars as the lead actor and supporting actor at the same time. He's from Toronto. Kind of a weird coincidence. The very first person on the very first day who was waiting for us when we got there was Noah. And I sat there and I like watched him. I was like, wow, this guy's really good. And I wonder if they're all going to be this good. And it just went downhill from there. But imitating Hollywood is a bad idea. If you're making an independent movie, it's going to be shown in independent outlets like film festivals, independent movie theaters in large cities like Toronto or New York or Chicago, in a DVD rental shop or online or anything like that. Like the people that are going to be seeking out your movie are the people who don't want to see large budget productions. And they're going to take a risk to see yours because they want to see you take a risk because you're not exploding cars and a large samurai fist fights or something. It's probably a better idea not to try to imitate, work within what you have available to you and creatively. Ambition is great, but if it's not backed up by a work ethic that's going to be able to solidify that ambition, that your ambition doesn't mean anything. A feature film, as I'm finding out right now, is an insane amount of work, and you always have to be ready to do a lot more than everyone else that is helping you on the crew. The primary influence in filmmaking is easily Woody Allen. I wouldn't be doing movies if it wasn't for Woody Allen. I never really took films seriously until I saw some of his movies. It made me really realize this is what I wanted to do. This is an art form. I had everything that I liked about the great music, great photography, great acting. My favorite part, that's gotta be a toss up between writing and editing. And editing is kind of like where you realize the movie. And writing is all about choices. You know, you can take it in a million different directions. So even though it's kind of difficult sometimes, it's uh, good to like troubleshoot and think of all the different things you can change. And, uh, I am a musician and I play currently with Lost and Lefty and The Crying Shames. Being a musician really helps uh, being a filmmaker. You sort of blend the two processes together, mostly in the rhythm. A sense of timing and stuff like that really helps, especially in editing. But also comedic timing, pauses and when to cut, when to like keep things rolling. There's a lot of intuition in music and film. Every scene has to have a rhythm. You have to know when to like stop, start. When you're coming to film after being a musician, an artist of some other kind, you get to mix up these sort of uh, instincts. The Lefty documentary unfortunately got put on the back burner for a bit, but it'll, it'll be back because that's probably more than likely will be the next completed film after this. It's all really going to depend on what happens with this movie. If it, this has any kind of success, things might be different. It's just about like getting the experience first and foremost and, and if uh, it becomes a success to any degree, uh, artistically or even commercially, that's just a big benefit for myself and everyone who worked on um, the movie. I'm not under the, any impression that you'll never get to the point where you're never going to make mistakes because like every film's different and I knew to expect that this time around. There's things you just can't foresee at this level. I can't like throw money at problems and make them go away. We're trying to meet a deadline right now for submission to Slime Dance. If you can't stay focused on like what you're doing like artistically and making sure the quality of the movie you're making in spite of everything else going on, it's still good, then you might as well not be making it. It's about, you know, making sure that you're making the right choices as an artist or making your film, rather than just like getting it done just to get it over with. Otherwise, why are you making a movie? You might as well be running a race or something, you know? Go join a jogging club. Yeah.